Hey guys, in my last video I showed you how to install the LAMP server in Ubuntu 11.04 and in this video I'd like to show you how to install the Webmin interface. Um, so the first thing we will need to do is open up a terminal and then um, I am going to open up gedit as um, the root user. We then want to um, open a file or the sources list um, to be specific. So we go to file system, um, etc. at, and then we need to click on sources.list. And what we need to do is add a couple of sources to the bottom of the file. So I am now going to type them in. Okay, so that should be all right. Um, if you haven't had enough time to copy it all down, feel free to um, pause the video. Um, so we are now going to save the file. Um, we wouldn't have been able to save the file if we didn't um, open up gedit as a root user. So it should now be safe to close the file. Um, and now back in the terminal, we need to import the gpg key. Oops, I typed in too many T's there. And we now need to update the source list. So sudo apt get update. And um, now that we have um, added the um, extra repositories and imported the GPG key and um, updated the source list, we are now able to install Webmin. So we just type in sudo apt get install Webmin. Uh, and after this operation, 93.6 megabytes of additional disk space will be used. Do you want to continue? Yes. Okay, so Webmin has now finished installing. We now need to type in sudo passwd root and enter in a new password. I mean, it will tell you that the password has updated successfully. If you don't do this, you won't be able to log into the Webmin um, interface. We need to type in HTTPS because it's a secure connection. Localhost and port um, 10,000. Um, and you will be asked um, if you're using Firefox or most other browsers to um, add a security exception. Um, and you will need to do that. Um, so your username should be root and the password you just typed into the terminal. And we are now logged in. So this is what the Webmin interface looks like. Um, it is kind of like cPanel. Um, if you have any um, shared hosting accounts, you would know what um, cPanel is. So it will tell you the system um, host name, the current operating system, Webmin version, uh, time on the system, the current kernel and CPU processor information, the total um, system uptime, the running processors, CPU load, CPU usage, um, you know, the memory usage, virtual memory, local disk um, space, package updates. 191 package updates are available. Um, you know, I'm not going to worry about this. You know, I, I didn't update um, Ubuntu when I installed it. Um, so that's, you know, the default, you know, sort of homepage of Webmin. And, you know, there are a lot of um, different options. Um, I don't want to bore you and go through all of them. We, you know, we have backup configuration files. You can change the language and the theme. I believe that you can, um, you know, download additional themes and modules, etc. Um, action, um, actions log. You know, there's Webmin configuration. You know, there are just so many options. I can't go through them all. We have um, IP access control. You know, what IP um, addresses are allowed to access it. Um, you know, as you can see, there were just um, so many different um, options that can be um, configured, um, you know, boot up and shut down, you know, you can change the passwords, 
disk and network file systems, file system backup, log file rotation, MIME types, um, PAM authentication, uh, the current you know the processes that are currently running. You can schedule commands and cron jobs. Though yeah, there is a lot to go through. Um, if you're interested in it, then I suggest you um, you know, check it out. You can watch my previous um video on how to um set up a LAMP server and you can install Webmin. Though you know it is um very similar to you know cPanel. Um, though, yeah, there, there were just um, too many options um, for me to really go through. Though, um, you know, it is um, you know, it is a very good um, web interface, and it gives you a lot of um, different options. So, I highly recommend um, that you check it out. Um, and that's pretty much it for um, this um, video. If you have any questions, then you can you know feel um, free to ask me. And thanks for watching.